So, so now you're now you're at the NBA. You're playing um, other teams, other you know you played overseas. What is the overseas experience like? Because people people in their minds they think, well, if I'm not going to play basketball in the NBA. I'll just go overseas and play and make money. What's the overseas experience like? Overseas not as easy as everybody thinks. It's great for you know the tax free dollars you get and, and and the opportunity you get, but uh, overseas was physical. I had uh, a lot of altercations, life threatening situations, people attacking your bus, people attacking your team. Wow. People, people let dogs out on us coming through the canopy, like the tunnel where you get introduced. They literally let the dogs go in our in our tunnel, like toward us. And what? Bro, Italy, man, was some of the most racism, <laughs> some of the craziest racism I have experienced in my life. Sicily, Italy was in the bottom of Italy with all the mafia was some of the craziest racism I experienced ever. But I also had times in Greece and in Russia where I, I, I felt like a king. So the experience overseas helped me become more of a man than the NBA ever did. I was on my own. I had to adjust to a foreign language. I had to learn how to deal with my own finances. Mm. I had to prepare my own food and cook for myself. Um, and it basically taught you how to be self-sufficient. Nobody would wake you up. Nobody would help you do anything. If you was the American and, and you had to figure it out on your own, man. So I say this to say that overseas is, is a, if you can't play pro, well, the G League is coming up now. So, you know, most guys won't have to run overseas as quickly, but at the time when I had to go, man, overseas was popping, man. It was lit. The guys was getting fat contracts, and, and now they still getting those same contracts. So I, I would always suggest going to play overseas. The competition is, is – you can't get that competition anywhere but the NBA. So, you know, one of the things that helped me, I played in the Euro League. Um, I played in the first division in Italy, France, and Greece for seven years. Played for the Harlem Globe Trotters. I played in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I got to go see some of the seven wonders of the world, things that I would have never done had I stayed just in America or just stayed in the NBA. I probably would have never done those things. So overseas was a part of my story and a part of me as well. And it, it all helped me mold me to be the person that I am. And I think you hit on something, and that is basketball was a tool and a vehicle that you use to get education to get finances, but then also to get and gain experiences. You know, basketball is taking you across the world. So you've been able to utilize and maximize that as the vehicle um, to help you as a person, but then also to broaden your, your horizon and broaden your, your vision, your experiences and things like that. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, we have a lot of younger ball players um, that watch the show or share, uh, you know, and this is one of the things that um, I try to communicate to them. And that is just because you don't make it as a professional doesn't mean that you're not successful. Just because you don't make it to the NBA doesn't mean yeah. that you're not successful in that yeah. sport because there are other levels and success is relative to if what it is. I tell kids, I don't mean to interrupt you, but oh, I go ahead. anybody that pay you to play basketball, you're a pro. You might not necessarily be an NBA pro. Hello? You have to work a real nine to five job because once you do that, bro, ain't no turning back. Them nine to five jobs is hard. Like, I have a <laughs> totally different respect for all the people around me and in my family that sacrifice and work hard because once you have to go to the real work world and punch a clock and report to a boss, man, you'll wish you was overseas playing, bro. You're going to wish it. You're going to wish it. So, you know, I say that to say this, man, use basketball. Don't let basketball use you. Absolutely. You temporarily just going to be in college or you might temporarily be in the NBA, but the people you meet off basketball and the network, that can be lifelong relationships and lifelong friendships and that could develop into so much more which i'm just not figuring out now some of the people who i affected while i was at depaul people that i i didn't even know like my game or watch me reached out to me and have businesses and want to help me do stuff just off basketball you know what i'm saying and it's an audience and a, a group of people i would have never reached so my, my words to kids would be to use basketball don't let basketball use you absolutely 